Well, I'm so glad everybody's here for yoga today. Um, and we had a special request a couple of weeks ago to go on a special yoga adventure. And you probably maybe can guess where that is. If you look right behind me, there's this great big tall tower. And that tower, go ahead and yell it out at your house. I know I can't hear you, but I bet somebody is going to say Paris, that we're gonna go to Paris today. And I thought it was kind of fitting for Earth Day because um, we could travel the whole globe. We could travel the whole Earth if we wanted to. But before we go to Paris, I think we need to do a warm-up exercise because when you're a tourist, you have to do a lot of walking. So you gotta have nice warm muscles. So everybody stand up. All right, and I want you to take your arms up and pat yourself on the back a whole bunch of times. Do it really fast. Arms up and pat yourself on the back. Get some blood moving in your arms. All right, and on the next time that you do that, I want you to come up on your toes and see if you can balance. Come up on your toes and pat yourself on the back. Oh, you guys are looking awesome. Are your legs starting to get warm? Three more times. Up on your toes, pat yourself on the back. Two, last one. Awesome. Now, put one foot out in front and bend your heel. Everybody got that? We're going to come forward, reach really high, and then sweep the ground. Stretch out those legs, because we're gonna do a lot of traveling today. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Three more, just like that. Takes a little bit of balance. And last one. Shake out your arms, and put the other foot forward. Sweep the ground, and come all the way forward. And you can even pat yourself on the back if you want. Three more times. Awesome, nice. And give it a little run. Get your legs going. Couple little bounces. Bounce to one side. Bounce to the other side. Back to the first side. Back to the other side. Come right forward. Now big arm circles. Get your arms working. Warm up those shoulders. And go the opposite way. Big circles. All right, now see if you can make your arms come up and do loud claps. And then reverse it, clap upwards. Awesome, and fold all the way over, touch toes. Reach all the way up, touch the ceiling. Fold all the way over, touch toes. Reach all the way up, touch the ceiling. And come down and have a seat on your knees. Woo. That was a good workout, huh? Now bring your arms out to the side. And then bring them about halfway up. And twist to one side. And back to the middle. And twist to the other side. And now see if you can breathe while you're twisting. So inhale and exhale. And drop your arms down, reach way over to one side, stretch out the side of your body, and back to the middle, and stretch out the other side, and back to the middle. All right, so everybody feeling pretty warm? Yeah? 
give me a thumbs up if you feel like your body's warmed up. Perfect. I see lots of thumbs going up. Well, you know, Paris is even far away from where I am. I'm in Germany, and Paris is still probably five or six hours away from where I live. So from the United States, where most of you guys are, it's pretty far away, too. So how should we get to Paris? I was thinking probably the best way would be an airplane. What do you guys think? Sound like a good idea? All right, so let's be an airplane. So put one foot forward. Bring out your arms nice and wide. And here we go. We're going to jump into our airplane. You can make your airplane noise. Maybe your wings tip side to side. And Paris is so far away that we had to refuel. So we had to have an airplane come and give us some fuel. So everybody sit down in your chair. And get some more fuel in your airplane. And then take off with the other leg. Awesome, and we landed right at the airport in Paris. Now, did anybody remember to pack anything for going to Paris? Did anybody bring a suitcase? I hope you did. I hope you brought lots of good stuff for us to um, have when we're in Paris. The first thing I want you to do is get out your sunglasses, though, because it's really bright out here. So get out your sunglasses and put on your sunglasses. Awesome. And you can kind of look around, see what you might want to see. And I think the first thing that we should do is go to the Eiffel Tower. What do you think? Since it's right behind me. All right, everybody stand up. Now the Eiffel Tower is really, really tall, but um, we're gonna pretend that we can make the Eiffel Tower with our body. So bring your feet nice and far apart and bend your knees. And then make the really pointy part of the top of the tower. And get those knees nice and low. Look at the picture. You can see how wide the bottom of the Eiffel Tower is. It's nice and wide. And then we're going to go side to side like we're climbing up and our legs get a little straighter and a little straighter and a little straighter. And we stretch really, really tall. And then we go down, 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 down. And climb up again all the way up to the top and down 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 Woo! good job all right if we're all the way up at the top of the eiffel tower get out your binoculars and take a look around i wonder what we could see Hi. while we were in paris jason can you check on the camera for us, please? You know, one of the biggest things that we could probably see from the Eiffel Tower is the Arc de Triomphe. I can do it. It looks like a big, it's a big building that you can drive through. So we're going to be the Arc de Triomphe. Now, you have a choice. You can do a bridge or if you're, you want to, you can do a wheel. I'm just gonna, oh, look, Jessica, um, uh, Olivia and Nico have sunglasses on for going to Paris. That's pretty cool. If you have sunglasses and you wanna grab your sunglasses, that's cool. All right, we're gonna make the Arc de Triomphe with our bodies. So everybody lay down on the mat. And if you're doing a bridge, you're gonna lift up really, really high just like something could go underneath your back. So lift way up high. If you're doing a wheel, 
You put your hands right by your ears, feet really close to your bum, and you push, 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 push. On your back. Okay, so you decide which one you want to do. You can do a wheel or a bridge, or you can do both. I'm going to do another bridge. And while you're in your bridge, you can lift one leg, or you can lift the other leg, and you can bring your arms up over your head, and then you can bring your arms down. And then when you've had enough, hug your knees into your chest. Take a couple little rock and rolls. All right, and try one more time. Decide which one you're going to do, bridge or wheel. Lift up really, really high. And try something different. Maybe you do your arms up and back. Maybe you lift a leg. And then when you're done, hug those knees into your chest and do some more off the rolls. All right. And when you're finished, come and sit straight in front again. How many people raise your hand did a bridge? Because I was doing a bridge. I couldn't see you guys. So let me see hands. And did anybody do a wheel? Anybody do a wheel? Yeah, a couple of you did wheels. Awesome. Okay. You want to be careful on your wheels that you don't hurt your back, right? So you want to be very, very careful. Well, in Paris, there are lots of churches. One of the most famous ones is called Notre Dame. And it has these, these, they're called flying buttresses. They go way out to the side of the building and they help hold the building up. So we're going to be part of a cathedral. So legs straight out in front of you, hands behind you with your fingers pointing towards your bum. And then see if you can lift up really tall. Turn your fingers around. Good job. Turn your fingers around, kids, like your hands. Look your hands. Face the front. Now, does anybody have, did anybody have a ball? Did anybody get a ball? Or do you all have stuffies? If you have a ball, you can put it under your chin. And when you lift up, see if it can slide down your belly. So if you have a ball, you can see if you can slide it down your belly all the way to your toes. Yeah, you can kind of hug it with your chin if it's a small ball, and then you can let it roll down your belly. Like this? Can I roll here? No, the ball. Awesome. That looked really cool. Can you help me? Well, lots of churches in Paris, but there are also lots of museums. And one of the most famous museums in Paris is the Louvre Museum. And there's a picture, I don't know how many people have heard of the painting called the Mona Lisa. Anybody heard of the painting called the Mona Lisa? Yeah, the Mona Lisa is in the Louvre Museum. One super, super famous painting. Um, if you don't know what it is, you can look it up online afterwards, and um, maybe you could send us a little picture so everybody knows what it looks like. Well, the Louvre Museum looks like a big pyramid. So we're going to do first our triangle pose to warm our legs up, and then we're going to do our pyramid pose, okay? So everybody start in your warrior two. Find your nice, long warrior two. Okay, so one foot out in front with that knee bent, one leg behind us, going sideways, arms out nice and long. Quinn, join us in warrior two. Awesome, arms nice and long. And then straighten that front leg, and we're going to lean, 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 and tip over so we kind of look like a triangle. 
And come all the way up. And then we're going to switch our feet. Turn to the other side. Let me see your warrior two. And then straighten your front leg. And this time, just because it's fun, we're going to sing the little teapot song because that's how I remember to do my triangle. Okay. I bet Ellie can help me sing and Cambry can help me sing. Okay, are we ready? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. And come all the way up. Shake out your legs. All right. Now, pyramid pose is a little bit like um, triangle pose. I'm going to step one foot out in front and one foot out in back. Going to put my hands on my hips. And I'm going to try really hard not to fall over. I'm going to fold, 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 and see how far I can bring my head down towards my leg. This is pyramid pose. Okay, I'm not going to go for you with my foot. And come back up and switch legs. Let's try the other side. Come on, I show you. Hands on your hips. That's great. And fold all the way forward. Good job. Now, all right. Now I want everybody to do their pyramid one more time so I can see you. See your face. Let me see your. Um, let me see your pyramid poses. Make sure you're going straight forward. Ooh, I see some good pyramids. Ellie, let me see your pyramid pose. Alex, where are you? Where's your pyramid? Quinn, where's your pyramid? Awesome, you guys look pretty good. Okay, come on down, shake it out. Give, me, give your hands a shake. Give your head a little roll side to side. Pyramid poses are hard work. And look up and down, and up and down. And now look over your shoulder two times. Nice. All right, let's see what else. There is a really big river in Paris. It's called the Seine River. So put your feet out nice and tall. Take a deep breath in, bring your arms up, and let's be little waves on the river. And let's do three more river waves. Awesome. Well, now they have some, some sports that are pretty popular in um, Paris. And one of them has to do with being on the river and that's rowing. Has anybody ever seen, been in a rowboat or in a canoe? Raise your hands if you've actually gone out rowing. Anybody? Okay, a couple people. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna start in boat pose. So find your boat, balance on your seat if you can, and hold your knees together. And then get your paddle. And here we go, side to side. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Awesome. Now, how many people have a couch beside them? Anybody have something you can put your feet up on? So now we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab my chair. I have a chair over here. Okay. 
I'm going to put my feet right on the end of my chair. And I'm going to see if I can row up and touch the chair. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Three more rows. You can do it. Getting so strong. Two more. And one more, last one. And then hug your knees in. Awesome. Now, see if you can grab your toes and lift your legs up and balance. See if you can grab your toes and lift your legs up and balance. And then see if you can roll back and come all the way up. See if you can roll back and come all the way up. See if you can find where that balance is. Use those tummy muscles that we work so hard. And try it one more time. Roll back. See if you can hold on to your toes or your legs or your ankles and come all the way up. Nice. All right, crisscross applesauce. So another really popular sport in Paris is soccer. How many people have played soccer? Yeah, a few of you played soccer. Okay, grab your feet or your ball and put it between your feet. See if you can hold it really tight. And see if you can bring your stuffy all the way over your head. And when your feet touch close to over your head, see if you can count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And then come all the way up. And two more times, just like that. All the way over, see if you can count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And come all the way up. Last time, make it your best one. Here you go, oh, touch it over your head. One, two, three, four, five. And come back to the middle. Well, France and Paris in general are known for some really good food. And one of those foods that they're known for is um, a baguette. Does anybody know what a baguette is? If you know, unmute your mic and tell me if you know what a baguette is. Is it some kind of bread? It is some kind of bread. It is a long piece of bread that's real, that they bake it, and it's crunchy on the outside, but it's super soft on the inside. Okay, so we're going to be baguettes, and you have a choice. If you have enough room in your house, and you want to roll up in your mat, you can lay down and roll over in your mat. If you don't have enough room to roll over on your mat, you're gonna get nice and long and see if you can roll your body over a couple of times and then roll back the other way. Use those core muscles to roll in one direction and then the other direction. Or you can roll up in your mat if you have enough room. Like a little um, yoga burrito or a Paris baguette.
Now the tricky part of rolling up in your mat is unrolling in your mat. So see if you can unroll too. See if you can roll up and then unroll. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look like pretty good baguettes. Well, another popular food is um, puff pastries. Um, at their, Paris is known for its yummy, yummy pastries. And they take lots of dough and they make lots of layers and they twist it all together. So we're going to do thread the needle. So everybody come on hands and knees. Lift one arm way up to the sky. And then and put it right under your other arm and bring your ear down. Oh, I'm unmuted. And if you want, you can wave your hand and bring it behind your back. And then come back to your tabletop after you've done that side. And try the other side. Lift your other hand up. Bring it right under your arm. Stretch out that other arm. Or maybe wrap it all the way around behind your back. Kind of like a little twist. And then come up on your hands and knees, take a couple little cat and cows. And then come back to sit to the front. All right. And so another way to do our pastries would be, to, would be to do a twist. So cross one leg over, sit up nice and tall. And twist to one side. And twist to the other side. So breathe in on one side and breathe out on the other side. Breathe in on one side and breathe out on the other side. And then shake your legs up and switch them. See if you can put the other one on top. And twist to one side, breathe in. Other side, breathe out. And twist to one side, breathe in. And other side, breathe out. One more time. Twist to the other side. And back to the center. Nice. Well, it's getting kind of late in Paris. Let's see. I'm going to show you. Let's see what this picture looks like, if you can really see it very good. This is a picture of the Arc de Triomphe. We did the Arc de Triomphe pose. Um, we did bridge pose, and it's a picture of it at nighttime. Um, but we have to get back home to the yoga studio, so we had better hop in our airplane again. Are you ready? Get your arms out. Step one leg forward, and here we go. And feet together. And other leg behind you, maybe try something different with your arms. Maybe your arms are out in front this time, or maybe they're back behind you. And both feet back together. But we are still at the airport. So we've got to get from the airport back to your houses. So get in your car, get your steering wheel. And here we go. See if you can make one turn around your mat. And come right back to the middle. 
All right, now I want everybody to get your piece of paper. And if you're on a carpet, you might need to put it on a book or to put your paper on the floor. And I want you to get your marker, take the lid off of it. All right. I'm taking a look to see if everybody's ready. And just put your marker kind of somewhere on your paper. It doesn't matter where. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw our breath. So we're going to close our eyes. And every time you take a breath in, I want you to move your marker. Maybe you move it up. And then maybe when you take your breath out, you move your marker down. So I want everybody to close your eyes and just start drawing your breath. So breathe up, move your marker. Breathe down, move your marker. Breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. No peeking. Keep your eyes closed. A couple more breaths. You're drawing as you're breathing. One more big breath, breathe in and breathe out. All right, now open your eyes and look at your picture. All right, and everybody hold your breath up close to the computer so that you can see, so we can see what you drew. Oh boy, everybody's breath looks a little bit different. Wow, that is so cool. Alex, is that your breath in the green? Where's Katya's breath? Did she do one too? Ellie, where's your breath? Hold it up close to the computer so we can see it. Oh, very cool. You guys did an awesome job. Isn't it neat how everybody's breath is just a little bit different? It came out looking just a little bit different. All right, nice job. All right. So that was, uh, make sure you put your lid on your marker so you don't mark on your yoga mat or your floor. And then I want everybody to take a big stretch, nice and long. That was a hard day of being a tourist. And I want you to put your feet straight up in the air and cross one leg over the other and see if you can bend your knees and grab for your ankles. This is called whale's tail and see if you can rock side to side a little bit. And then bring your legs straight back up, cross them the other way at your knees and see if you can grab your ankles and go side to side. And then legs straight up and bring your feet together and now grab your ankles with your knees out really, really wide. And then take a big stretch fingers to toes. And take a deep breath in and let me hear you sigh it out. <sighs> And 
and bring your arms down by your side. Deep breath in, arms all the way over your head. And then bring your arms down and side out. <sighs> and one more, just like that. Deep breath in. And sigh it out. <sighs> and just let everything relax on the floor. And imagine that you're looking up maybe at the Eiffel Tower and the sky is full of stars. See if you can find your favorite star up there. What color does that star look like to you? Is it far away or is it pretty close? What do you think? How far is that star out in that galaxy of the universe? Notice all the stars that are around your special star. And then think of a name that you can call your star. And you can come back and find your star in the night sky anytime you want. So bring your arms out and your legs out like you're this great big star in the sky. And then hug your knees in really, really tight. And be that great big star again. And one more time, hug your knees in really, really tight. And then take a couple little rock and rolls and come up to sitting. And let's, um, I'm going to see if I can unmute everybody. And I want you guys to Gross. tell me Gross. what the name of your star was. Who had a name for their star? All right, go ahead, Olivia. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. <laughs> That's actually the real name of a star, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Who else had a name for their star? Alex, what did you name your star? Pikachu. Pikachu. That's a great name. Pikachu. Who else? Who else had a name for a star? It's my turn. Yeah, sure. Okay. Go ahead, Valentina. I named my star star. Just star. Okay, that's a good one. Who else had a name? Um, I got two unicorns. You got a unicorn? Is that the name of your star? Yeah, unicorn. Yeah. Awesome. Cambry, what was the name of your star? Uh, yeah. Say that again. Oh, that's a nice name. I saw Isabella's hand. Isabella, what's the name of your star? Awesome. Ellie, did you have a name for your star? Bunny. Bunny? Bunny was the name of your star? Quinn, what was the name of your star? It's the 22nd of April. Olive, put it down. It's okay. You don't have to have a name if you didn't think of one. You can just say you don't know. That's all right. So can you hi? All right. So let's finish our yoga class with our namaste song. So everybody bring your hands right to your heart. Say your name. 
Are you ready? All right. My little light, your little light. Your little light, your little light. My little light bows to your little light. My little light. 